Hey, what's up? This is Tech Brothers. Finally, I received Ilfan U Pro in my hands. This is one of the most popular smartphones at the beginning of 2018. We already made comparison of Ilfan U Pro and OnePlus 5T. And to be honest, this video has many views on YouTube. It says that Ilfan U Pro is a very interesting smartphone for many people. But why? First of all, this is one of the first Chinese phones on Snapdragon chipset, except Xiaomi devices. The Chinese manufacturers usually use MediaTek processor because they are cheaper. Ilvan U Pro is powered by Snapdragon 660 and it is one of the main advantages of this smartphone. Another highlight of a new device is design. Just look at these thin bezels around the display. Of course, many Chinese phones have thin bezels on sides, but Ilvan U Pro has even curved edges, just like Galaxy S8. Also, the smartphone comes with 6GB of RAM, 128GB of storage, latest Android 8.0 Oreo system, and many other interesting features we will talk about in this video. I want to note, it is unboxing and first review video of Ilvan U Pro. Later, I will publish special videos about performance, camera, and battery. You can find them in the description. Let's start with unboxing. Ilvan U Pro is a flagship smartphone, because its price is almost the same as OnePlus 5T. As you know, flagship phones have premium package, and Ilfan device is no exception. It comes in black box with company logo on the front panel. The back side provides brief information about smartphone. When you open the box, the first thing you see is the phone. Let's put it aside and see what else is inside the box. There is two other boxes. The first one has USB Type-C cable, adapter from USB to headphones, and power adapter. The smartphone doesn't have 3.5mm audio jack, so you should use adapter to listen to music. The charger is pretty big, because it supports fast charging technology, quick charge 3. Another box hides screen protector, SIM needle, user manual, and silicon case. So, Elephant U Pro has really premium package, but it leaves very good impressions. I have black version of Elephant U Pro. Also, you can buy a smartphone with blue back panel. To be honest, blue version looks more interesting and attractive. I know, this is a matter of test, but I prefer blue version. By the way, I don't know about blue color option, but black one is a magnet for fingerprints. This is a very noticeable, and you will need to wipe it, not to spoil their appearance. On the other hand, you can use silicon case. Elephant U Pro has amazing front panel. There is 6-inch display that occupies almost whole front side. Today there are many full-screen phones, but many of them have thick bezels on sides. Of course, Ilfan U Pro also has bezels on sides, but they are very thin, less than 1 mm. The curved edges make the bezels almost invisible. I really like latest trend to get rid from bezels. Above the display you can see earpiece, front camera, LED notification and other sensors, such as proximity and lighting. The back panel is made of glass, and it is covered by Koning Gorilla Glass 5, just like front side. Here you can see vertical dual camera, flash, and fingerprint reader. I think that this is a bad place for a fingerprint reader, because you can accidentally touch the camera sensor. In my opinion, it is better to place fingerprint reader on side. As usual, power button and volume rocker allocated at the right side, and slot for SIM cards and microSD memory card at the top. At the bottom you can find USB Type-C port and speaker grill. Ilfan U Pro doesn't have 3.5mm audio jack, so if you want to listen to music from headphones, then you should use adapter from USB Type-C. Fortunately, it comes in a package with smartphone. Also, 6-inch display. The smartphone is very comfortable to hold in one hand. I think it is because of rounded back panel. Ilfan U Pro has high build quality and premium design. The only drawback from me is the fingerprint reader location. It is very close to the camera sensor. Also, the back panel leaves fingerprints, and I think it will be easy to scratch, so I recommend it to use silicon case. Let's talk about display in details. As already said, Ilfan U Pro has 6 inch screen with Full HD Plus resolution 2160 by 1080 pixels and 18 to 9 aspect ratio. This is AMOLED display, so it provides very good contrast and viewing angles. Also, the display has curved edges, they are very similar to Galaxy S8. It makes the smartphone look bezel-less, and it is amazing. The brightness is good to use the smartphone outdoors. Also, you shouldn't have any problems with using Elephant U Pro at night. You can set up the minimum brightness or use night mode. 
As you may notice, the smartphone has on-screen buttons. You can change the order and style of navigation button in Settings menu. As for the hardware, Hilton U Pro is one of the first Chinese phones powered by Snapdragon chipset, except Xiaomi devices. Hilton U Pro is equipped with Snapdragon 660, and it is a highlight of smartphone. It provides high performance and smooth operation. The user interface works fast and smooth. I don't see any delays or other things. By the way, I have model with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of internal memory. Also, you can buy 4 and 64GB version. To be honest, I don't think that you will notice big differences between 4 and 6GB of RAM. However, 128GB is a big advantage. Of course, the smartphone supports microSD memory cards, but there is hybrid slot. It means that you can use two SIM cards at the same time or one SIM card and one microSD memory card. Later, I will make special video with detailed performance test. Right now, I want to show you some benchmarks. Hilton U Pro has very good result in Antutu. It scores about 139,000 points. I cannot say that is a record because OnePlus 5T is a little more expensive, but it has 180,000 points. However, it is a pretty good result for Chinese smartphone. Higbench 4 shows 1623 points in single core test and 5800 points in multi core test. I already played Asphalt 8 and it runs very well. In description, you can find video with gaming on Ilfan U Pro. The smartphone runs on latest Android 8.0 Ori operating system. It has customizing icons and notification menu, but other things look from stock Android. The smartphone has 6GB of RAM and this is enough for multitasking. You can use split screen to watch videos and surfing internet. Ilfon is quite popular Chinese manufacturer of phones, and I think it will support the phone with software updates at least one year. It is the first flagship smartphone from Ilfon, so I expect regular software updates. Ilfon U Pro comes with 13 megapixel dual camera on the back and 8 megapixel front camera. At the moment, I cannot say about image quality because I didn't take photos. However, I saw other reviews on YouTube, and all of them say that camera is main problem of this phone. Later, I will check it and publish video with real photos and videos. The smartphone is equipped with 3550mAh battery. This is not so much, but Ilfon U Pro has latest Android 8.0 Oreo system with power saving function, AMOLED Full HD display, not 2K, and power efficient processor Snapdragon 660. All of this give about one day of battery life. The new smartphone supports Quick Charge 3.0 technology. It provides full battery charge in about two hours. Once again, I plan to make a special video with battery test. The link will be in the description. It is very important to talk about connectivity because no one wants to get phones that doesn't support local networks. Elton U Pro is equipped with hybrid slot for two SIM cards and microSD memory card. First of all, the smartphone supports only 2G and 4G bands. It means that you cannot use 3G, and it is a big shame, because there are many countries without latest 4G network. Also, Elfon U Pro doesn't support 4G band in the US, you can use only 2G. As for the other connections, the standard dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0, GPS, and even NFC. I don't have any problems with GPS or Wi-Fi. Both of them work very good. The smartphone has dual speaker grill at the bottom, but only one of them gives sound. The second is used for microphone. The sound is pretty loud, and there is a little distortion as for the smartphone. You can definitely watch the videos on YouTube or listen to music through the built-in speaker. Hilton U Pro looks very interesting smartphone. However, it has one big disadvantage – the price. It costs about $450. I think it is too much for the smartphone from little-known Chinese manufacturer. For the same price, you can get Xiaomi Mi Note 3 with better cameras. Also, you can add $50 or $100 and buy OnePlus 5T. 
Of course, the main feature of Elephant U Pro is design and curved display, and it's really amazing. Also, the smartphone has good performance and battery. Perhaps the camera is the main problem of this smartphone because it takes bad photos in low light conditions. In general, it is a good smartphone. If you really want a beautiful device and you're ready to pay $450, then you can find links in the description where to buy Ilfan U Pro cheaper. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers.